saying all of this because in our families today our sisters and our children are still faced with a tremendous amount of abuse and injustice they are faced with a tremendous amount of abuse and injustice injustice of all kinds and abuse of all kinds physical abuse verbal abuse emotional abuse they are threatened all the time they fear for their their own lives they fear for their lives if they stay and they fear for their lives if they leave and this is the atmosphere in which significant numbers of our sisters and children live their lives it is time I believe brothers and sisters that each one of us takes responsibility for our own actions and we begin to initiate change in our own homes this is an area that certainly the change begins with each home with each family that's where it starts it does not start at the top from the government or the leaders of the organization it starts from the bottom from the root we should say from the families it is high time I believe in light of the emphasis that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam have placed on justice being reasonable and being fair and being just while avoiding being unfair and unreasonable and unjust in the Quran and the Sunnah that we need to take some action on this issue there is absolutely no reason brothers and sisters no justification for anyone to be living in injustice or being abused and being threatened in all its forms because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it clear that if two people cannot get along if a husband and wife can't get along then he has permitted them to divorce and separate go their own ways but do not try to stay together and in the process your objective in life is to simply be as unjust as you can to the other person in fact even at the time of divorce and I'm not suggesting that as soon as any couple is faced with any problem they say let's divorce let's separate I am not suggesting that at all yes it is to be used as a last resort as a way out of preventing people from reaching the point where they allow the temptations of shaitan to take over and they allow the evil inclinations of ourselves to take over this is why the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam Yasta'idu billahi min sharri nafsi. He used to seek refuge in Allah from the evil inclinations of his own self. The evil choices. We have the potential, brothers and sisters, because of our intelligence and our freedom of choice, to choose to do good or to choose to do evil. The potential is there. So we seek refuge in Allah from that potential of choosing to do what is evil that is what that is what is meant by we seek refuge in Allah from the evil inclinations of ourselves the potential to do evil and also from the evil of the actions we do perform from time to time So there is no reason why anyone should have to live with injustice or with abuse. We all need to consider and think about 
the day of judgment, brothers and sisters, when we'll stand before Allah, the Creator, to be held accountable for our choices and our actions. Obviously, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted, the glorified, knew that not every couple would be able to get along and to live in peace and harmony. That's the ideal. That is the ideal. MashaAllah, most people are able to do so in spite of the problems and disagreements that may come up from time to time. That is part of how life unfolds. That is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended that life should unfold. That in a couple's life, they will always face challenges. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not for a moment want anyone to either do injustice or to have to live with injustice. So he tells us in the Quran, Inna Allaha ya'muru bil adl. Surely Allah commands that which is just. So anyone, anyone who believes that the Quran or the Sunnah in any way permits them and justifies the injustice that they do to their spouse, whether it's the husband to his wife, or the wife to her husband in some cases, or to the children, anyone who believes that, we say to them, you are wrong. Because the Quran says, Inna Allaha ya'muru bil adl. So how can Allah order injustice as you claim? Allah does not order injustice. Surely Allah commands justice. That which is just, that which is right, that which is fair. Wal ihsan and kindness. And the kindness here is to even give more than you are required to give. To bend over backwards as we say. And not just to call everything down the middle. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. And these verses are in context of divorce in Surah Al-Baqarah. Even in divorce, Allah says, وَلَا تَنْسَوُ الْفَضْلَ بَيْنَكُمْ At the time when people are angry, they are stressed out, they are full of anxieties about the uncertain future. The time of divorce is a very trying and stressful time for anybody. It's the time when a person might be more prone to being unjust and unreasonable, or at the very least, wanting to call everything down the middle. Even then, Allah tells us, Wala tansawul fadla baynakum. Do not forget to be gracious among yourselves. Do not forget to be gracious. That is, give up even a little bit more of your rights. All for the sake of peace, inner peace and contentment. So anyone who believes or claims that the Qur'an allows me to do this and allows me to do that, which is unjust and unfair, which is tantamount to abuse, we say to them, you are wrong. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allaha ya'muru bil adli wal ihsan. Surely Allah commands justice and kindness wa ita idhil qurba. And that you should give. You should give in charity to your close relatives. And just in case anyone believes that there might be some kinds of injustice that Allah has, has permitted, Allah says, وَيَنْهَا عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ وَالْبَغِيِ On the one hand, He commands this. On the other hand, He forbids this. Together, the picture is crystal clear. You can't miss it, even if you close your eyes. وَيَنْهَا عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ And He forbids all forms of indecency, all forms of indecency and lewdness, whether in speech or in action. And everything that's objectionable, reprehensible, vile, and transgression, oppression, injustice. He admonishes you so that perhaps 
you will take a warning, you will remember, you will benefit from this admonishment. This is what the Quran says. So it is impossible, brothers and sisters.